Okay, so I've drilled a hole in the bottom of this so I can use the wood carver screw to hold it in place. So I'm going to start screwing that in. So that's in there fairly deep. Getting about the tapered shape of it is that if it comes loose, you can just screw in a bit further and it comes tight again. So we'll probably have to re tighten this as we carve the piece. Okay, so I got the calipers and I measured the top of the leg where it joins to the bottom of the caddy. And that's what I've been using to sort of uh, signify where the legs are in three places. So it's going to be like a tripod all the way around the caddy. I've now highlighted the places that I want to take out. That's what I'm going to start doing now. Okay, so I wasn't paying attention to where the knots are in this piece. I knew there were some knots but I wasn't really paying attention so there's, there's one right here and uh, sort of the same knot I think carries on through here. It's not so much of a problem for this one because mostly here it's just coloration but on this side the knot is going right where the bottom of the foot would be where the heel is and I think that would just crumble out. I've been testing it with a chisel and it's really crumbly material so I think this is no good for what we want to do with the legs. Um, but that doesn't mean we still can't make something out of it. I've been planning to make a series of these anyway. So what I'm going to do is just get the material down to that this will be the bottom of the legs here because we're going to forget about that knot there and any of the material here. This will be the bottom. So I'm just going to clear this one out to the bottom of there. Then uh, clean the top up a little bit. And then after that we'll think about what we want to turn these three little legs into instead. So we're going to try and make these little kind of teardrop shape feet. So we're going to do all around. So I made this little template. So we can copy this on every leg. Then we'll outline those, clean up the bottom a bit, then we'll remove it from the base and start carving with some knives and small chisels. I'm just going to cut each foot off individually to make sure I uh, don't cut through another foot or something. start cleaning it up. So it's nice to have a small project like this to just uh, get on with. So um, I have my Mora knife and a couple of these scrapers which I'm going to use now just to 
finish off the top edge and uh, smooth up the sides a little bit. So now I can move on to using these scrapers. I've got these in all different sizes but I'm going to use this one and a slightly smaller one just to scrape around the edges. This is the equivalent of why I'm using the sandpaper so rather than using sandpaper I'm going to use these to uh, scrape around all the edges and clean things up a little bit. Something a bit like this. And what this does is it takes away a lot of the bumps but also smooths lots of things out at the same time, you know. And I'm being kind of rough with it here, you know, you can you can be as delicate or as tough as you like. For instance, we could come right in here and uh, scrape along there quite gently, you know. Or like we were, whoops, like we were doing here, just a uh, dragging along. You could probably do this with a normal cabinet scraper as well. Like a, you know, a sheet metal one just go down the side of that. But I like these because they're, they're easy to hold, they're uh, pretty easy to sharpen up and uh, you know you can get in lots of little gaps and places because of just the way they're, they're curved and pointed and I have lots of different shapes so they fit different profiles and uh, it's just I, don't know. I much prefer this to sandpaper because of the feel of it at the end and also just the dustiness of sandpaper. I much prefer the scraping, so 